tonight, we are here to rock and roll. Come on, let's get some music and let's talk. Here we go. Yeah. 
guitar. This is a Rickenbacker guitar I bought back in the first week of 1969. <laughs> 68 had been a real good year for me and my band Credence. We had a great big hit song called Suzy Q. <laughs> and so I was trying to get my tool kit together and maybe have a career in music if I made the right preparation. I bought this guitar made a bunch of changes to it. Uh, the most important thing was I put a humbucker pickup right there in the bridge off of a Gibson Les Paul guitar. I did that because I'd heard about these guys over in England uh, named Jimmy, Jeff, Eric, and they were playing Les Paul guitars plugged into a Marshall amp and make it, that's Jimmy, Jeff, Eric. A ask your grandpa. Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, the band. And of course, Jimmy Hendrix, too. 
<laughs> anyway, they were making the coolest sound ever, and I wanted to get me some of that. So I did that to this guitar. I played it on everything. I mean, you know, Green River, down on the corner, up around the bend, all that. Heck, this is the guitar I played at Woodstock! Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that was a really good ride. You know, the train was going faster and faster, went up in the air like a rocket ship for about two years, three years. And uh, you know, everything that goes up has to come down. About 1972, well, my band broke up. My girlfriend uh, left me and my dog bit me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I told you about that Woodstock thing. Oh, right about that time, this 12-year-old boy comes up to me. I guess he saw that I, had, I was in a weak mode. And he says, hey, John, can I have one of your guitars? So I took my most precious thing I'd ever had in my life, and I gave it to a 12-year-old kid right there. I didn't see this guitar for a long time. And then just a few years ago, my dear wife, Julie, who you have heard about, she went out into the middle of America and uh, she's banging on bushes and knocking on doors. She found my guitar and she brought it home. She put it under the Christmas tree. After 44 years, I got my baby back! Uh, check out the Christmas jammies. Yes, indeed. <laughs> anyway, I told you about that Woodstock thing. Yep, I was up there, saw all that craziness, all us hippies. And uh, I went home and I wrote this song on this guitar.
you have noticed some family resemblance up here on this stage. That would be because standing right over there is my son, Shane! And standing right there is my son, Tyler! And back there in the shadows is my beautiful bride, Julie! Those of you who have uh, followed my career a little bit also understand that Julie is the one. <laughs> the one. She's the one that did everything and the reason I'm standing here still alive is because of Julie. Well, uh, we got married about 32 years ago. And somewhere along that way, I wrote a song for Julie. I would like to sing it for you right now.
so much thank you thank you thank you oh man look at the people look at all these people here oh my god let me hear you people way over there let me hear you let me hear you people way out that way come on I love doing this next song because it reminds me of my little baby girl, Kelsey. Boy, these pigs are... Okay. There you go. Uh, this song reminds me of my little baby girl, Kelsey, because she is a rainbow in my life, and this song has a rainbow in it.
you people here in Sweden remember a long time ago when my album came out Blue Moon Swamp and you guys were the ones that brought me over to play and made me number one and it felt so good I love Sweden thank you all so much
You know that I just recently got my songs back, right? After 50 years! <laughs> you know, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I have the greatest job in the world. I get to play music for people when they're having a good time, like you! And so I got my songs back. Uh, I must tell you, I had a secret plan. I outlived all those crooks and criminals. <laughs> and I got my songs back! <laughs> so anyway, uh, I wanted to take a moment. I wanted to thank you. Thank you for loving these songs for 50 some odd years. Thank you for making love to these songs, singing these songs, taking these songs in your heart. I thank you for that. I salute you. Thank you. Cheers to you. God bless you. Delicious. Okay, you didn't think I was done, did you? We got a couple more for you. I just want to tell you, it's so special to be in my family, to be here. Thank you so much. 